patients who are guard costs. So, the, the guard costs that are doing the back door pass, essentially I'm running, that's just like I'm running around him. So this only works if his knees are together. I'm able to glue his knees together and push them to the side. So I'm able to push Chris, glue his knees together, and push them to the side, no problem. I will go and do a matador pass. But however, when people are maintaining butterfly guard, they will want to keep their knees out, hence the name. It's how his knees are butterfly out. So even when I push him down, you see how his knees are out, and then I just don't feel like I can run around him. Right? Because the path that I have to take is so large, he'll probably just be able to stick with me. So what I'm going to do now, instead of going around, I'm going to go through. I'm going to go through. So do you see how I'm still going to take that initiating step? So I'm going to step for one. Instead of walking past his leg and around his leg, so I put my foot in between his two knees. That's the second thing I'm going to do. Now what I'm going to do in order to complete this pass is I'm just going to bring my shin across his thighs, almost across his slide. So my right over top of his right. As I do this, I'm going to dig for an underhook. I'm going to talk about why I want an underhook in a moment. Then what I'm going to do is like I'm trying to go and do a knee strike towards Joanna. See, I'm just here. So I'm bringing my knee through. As well as I do this, my belly button is to the sky. And I'm going to slide all the way through. And then I'm going to turn to complete Pass and top As I come up, what Chris is going to do, he's going to keep the sky and then reposition himself directly in front of me, kick. So that way I don't have to run around him. All right? It just takes up too much time or I always have to do more movement. So once again, I'm still going to push here. But see how Chris's knees are really far apart. This is what he wants to do. This is what he wants to do. This is a proper butterfly guard. However, I still have a solution for this. I'm still going to take a step. Initiating the momentum with this step. Now I'm going to go, go through. Now, as I slide my left across his left thigh, note how I'm turning my body. I want the other hook here. See how my belly button is to the side, right? And then I'm going to slide through, and then I control his neck. Now, let's talk about why we want these things. So, to set up again, let's just do this from the top. So, I'm pushing, stepping, stepping, I'm going across. Now, I want the underhook. Why? Because if I just get his neck, for instance, see how he can still get my back. He can strip out, and then he gets my back. This isn't a good thing for me. Now, why do I want my belly button to the sky? I want my belly button to sit up and do this from the top, push him down, see how if I go like this, see how my belly button is facing the mat. Can you uh, tie me up in a half cover, please? See, he's just got my ankle, but note how, man, I'm just stuck here. Can you roll up to all fours? He's rolling up to all fours, and so he can do a modified single leg and take me down, all right? So I don't want him to take half guard and tie up my ankle. So you see how I'm basically turning my body, thinking how one, two, here, this is the second step in all this. You see how I'm turning my body like this? You see how even if he does go and try to tangle up on my ankle in his half guard, see how my foot just disappears, sliding through. I don't even want to give him a chance. He's going to kick to the side. He's going to come up. Go ahead, push him down. Step, step through now. I'm going to go slide all the way around one more time, please. Push him down. Check the knee step. Step through his legs, underhook. Slide all the way around. Okay. Cross knee slide, please. 